Good morning, world. Today we're talking about five things that a person needs when recovering from infidelity, when healing from infidelity. The first of which is transparency. Because with infidelity, the trust in the rela of relationship, the trust that the person had in their partner is broken. And they have to go through the process of rebuilding that trust. Re um, and it's even, it's different from the, the way they built the trust at the beginning of the relationship because then they were starting from a clean slate, but now they're starting from a place of injury. They're starting from a place where the trust was there, but has been broken. So they're relearning how to trust again. They're relearning how to be, feel safe and comfortable with you as a partner. So they need transparency. You need to, um, they need to know what's going on, be kept and they need to be kept in the loop pretty much be an open book making sure that they know what's happening with you they know what um if you if you're doing something if you're involved with whatever it is making sure that they are be an open book so that the person does not feel that there's something being hidden from them that they need to go digging for information or that they may not know everything or that um be bracing for whatever may be coming next to consistency May, you're rebuilding your those patterns, making sure that you're sticking with. Um, if you if you say you're going to do something, you do it. Stay with it. Focus. Um, stick with your word. Stick with your action. Be consistent in everything. If you're supposed to be doing A B C D, make sure you're doing A B C D. If you normally did A B C D in the relationship before everything happened, go back to doing that. Be consistent because consistency help the person start um, feeling safe again. It helped them establish that pattern where, oh, okay, I know what's coming. I know what's happening. Therefore, I can be comfortable and be safe in this situation because I know. Three, normalcy. Bringing back things that used to be in the relationship. For instance, if you guys had dinner together every night, maybe the person doesn't want to see your face five nights a week, but start working your way towards where you guys can spend some time together, where you can start bringing some of the normal things that existed in the relationship back um, back into the relationship. So some of the no things that used to happen prior to the break, bringing them back. Um, again, you're going to do this at your on your partner's timetable, but whatever is within your sphere of control. If you used to wash um, your wife's car, or if you used to take the takes do something for your husband, start um, making sure that you're continuing to do those things because bringing back that normal pattern help again help the person feel safer. And it shows that, hey, it is possible to continue. Hey, it is possible to move forward from this point. You want the person to be able to see that it is possible to move on. It is possible to continue from this point on. Four, support. They are going to need a great deal of support because infidelity causes a whirlwind of emotions. Half the time, the person may not even know what they're feeling or what they're going to be feeling three minutes from now. But you need to, they, they will need you to be supportive, especially because with infidelity, they may not want to, they may not want to share that information with everyone. They may not be sharing that information with some of the people that they would reach out to for support. So it falls to you who, it, the, who will be the person who's aware of the situation to be there and whether they're angry, sad, and whatever emotion that they don't even understand to be there for them and be supportive. And of course, making sure that you are taking care to not re-injure, to, to not do things to make the situation worse. Just be there, be supportive, and do not make things worse. And finally, they need reassurance because that person, as they are learning to trust you again, as they start getting comfortable in the relationship again, they need to know that, hey, you're not going to do the same thing next week, that you're not going to do the same thing next year. You need to be providing the person the reassurance that this is something in the past and that in this present and your new future, that they don't have to worry about this particular type of incident recurring. Um, quick recap. One, they need transparency. Make sure they know everything. Tell them everything. Um, make sure that they don't feel left out. Two, be consistent. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're supposed to do, be consistent. 
so that the pattern develops of you know good guy good woman and you know that's the three normalcy get the relation start working on getting the relationship back because you need the person to know that it is possible to go back to normal and go back to relationship as it was before for be supportive whatever it is they're going through whenever they need you for make sure that you are supporting them and being careful not to do things to re-injure the person and finally reassurance because they need to know that yes after they trust you again after they take the time and you know resume this relationship it's not going to go back to the same thing and as always if it is you or if someone you know may be going through something please do reach out and get help because there is so much help out there for you and that is all we have for today good morning world have an awesome day